Hey everyone, I'm Justin. Welcome to my channel, Justin Hits the Trail. Today we're going to talk about the Big Agnes Rapide SL Double Sleeping Pad. This is a two-person inflatable backpacking sleeping pad and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite pieces of gear. I'm going to go over all the specs with you, some of the things I like about it, some of the things I don't like about it, and my overall thoughts, and if this is something that I would recommend to you. But before we go into all of it, let me give you a quick background on my sleeping pad use. So I quickly moved on from the closed cell foam accordion pads, uh, eventually upgraded to like a one inch thick self-inflating thermrest pad, but eventually I wanted something better, so I actually got this other Big Agnes pad right here for myself. This is the Big Agnes Q-Core SLX Insulated. It's a 25 inch wide pad, super comfortable, really liked it, got some good use out of it. But when the temperatures really got cold, like below freezing, I could definitely feel some cold air seeping in. And at that point, after a couple years, I just wanted something new. So I moved on to this Nemo Tensor. And this is the pad that I've been using for the last couple of years. And personally, I'd like a little more than that one. Um, it's just a little bit warmer, a little bit lighter, packs down smaller, and I've really been loving this thing. And whenever I go solo now, this is still the pad I use. But of course, we're not talking about a single person pad today. We are talking about a two person sleeping pad. Shortly after my girlfriend Anna started backpacking with me, we got a two person quilt from Enlightened Equipment. And what we were doing was taking two single person sleeping pads and strapping them together. And this worked okay. The problem that we would have is if we wanted to cuddle up or we were rolling around too much, the pads would separate and there was just no getting around that. And that lets the cold air in, the drafts come in, and it's just not very comfortable. And that's when I started the search for a two-person pad to bring backpacking, which is why we have the Big Agnes repeat here. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go over some of the specs. This pad is 40 inches wide, it is 72 inches long, it's three and a half inches thick for the most part. There are two outer beams that are actually four and a quarter inches thick. The pad itself weighs 37 ounces, though that does not include the stuff sack or inflation sack. The R value is 4.8. So this is a pretty warm pad that should get you spring through fall three seasons and even into a little bit of wintry conditions. So the cold should not be a problem for this pad. When it's packed up like this, it's about 12 inches long and six inches wide. At least that's how I have it packed and how I measured it. And it retails for $300. It's made of a double ripstop nylon that does feel pretty durable. The insulation comes from two layers of reflective film inside. It has an offset I-beam construction that is connecting the top and the bottom layers of the pad. And at the top corner, there are two separate valves for inflation and deflation. So let's get into the important part of this review, and that is the things that I really like about this pad. First, of course, let's talk about the comfort. This is a super comfortable sleeping pad, in my opinion. When you look at it initially, it looks like it has long vertical baffles running down the length of the pad, but that's actually just a bunch of offset I-beams that are positioned vertically. It makes it look like it is vertical baffling, but in fact, it's more of a quilted pattern. And this quilted pattern makes it very comfortable and supportive. It's nice because when two people are laying on it, you don't get that pool float effect that I worry about with almost all inflatable pads and pillows and whatnot. I really like the two raised outer beams. Now, if this was a one person pad, those raised beams would do a great job keeping you cradled in the pad. However, with two people, you don't quite get that cradling effect, but they do a really good job from preventing you from rolling off. You never feel like you're on the edge of the pad. It always keeps you, you know, in a little bit and it's really nice. The 40 inch width of this pad is really just the same as two individual pads side by side, but it feels much bigger than that. Anytime I've used a 20 inch pad in the past, I always felt like I'm gonna fall off. But with this, even laying next to Anna, I never have that problem. It feels somehow much bigger than 40 inches. The three and a half inch thickness is great. 
Uh, it's more than enough to not feel the ground and it feels nice and cushy. We have yet to push the temperature limit on it. We have had the pad down into the 30s a couple of nights and one morning it was 28 degrees and we have yet to feel the cold come up from under us. So, so far so good with the warmth. And speaking of the warmth, again that is from two reflective layers of insulation that are suspended within the pad. And because they are suspended in the pad, you don't get that crunchy, crinkly sound when you're rolling around on it. It's a very quiet pad to sleep on. One thing I was worried about with this pad being so big, again, 40 by 72 inches, three and a half inches plus thick, is that it would take forever to inflate. I timed it, so how long did it take me to inflate this pad? Two minutes and 26 seconds. That's not bad for a two-person pad. If this were two one-person pads, that'd be less than 75 seconds per person. That's pretty good. So that's some of the things that I like about this pad. Now let's talk about some of the downsides of it. A quick caveat is a lot of this has to do with the fact that it's simply a bigger two-person pad, um, but I think it's something to address nonetheless. So let's start. It weighs 37 ounces. That's a lot, especially if you're trying to go ultralight or lightweight with your backpacking setup. Two and a half pounds. However, if you divide that in half, it's only 18 and a half ounces per person. And that's actually pretty good. My old Big Agnes pad, my one person pad, actually weighed more than that. And that's pretty comparable to a Nemo Tensor or other similar pad on the market. So on a per person basis, it's pretty good. However, that 37 ounces does not include the inflation sack that it comes with, which is three ounces, or the stuff sack, which is a little less than an ounce. So overall, you're looking more at like 41 ounces all in from the package that you get from the store. Another downside of this pad is, well, it's bulky. It's gonna take up a lot of space in your pack. If you compare this to a you know, 25 inch wide one person pad, you know, this may be twice the size of that, if you compare it to a 20 inch one person pad like this tensor here, you know, this thing's a beast. It is not small. And because of the size of this pad, there is a lot of volume of air inside of it. This leads to a couple of problems. One, usually you inflate your pad when you get to camp, maybe in the afternoon or early evening, but when the temperature drops, that air inside compresses, and that makes the pad feel like it is deflating a little bit. So we've already experienced this every time we've used it. We inflate it in the afternoon, go to bed when it's dark out, and it feels soft. So you have to top it off before you crawl into bed. And because of all that air inside, it takes quite a bit of time to deflate. I haven't timed it yet, but it takes much longer than a one person pad would take me to deflate and roll up. A quick note about all the air inside too, just as a precaution. If you're gonna be inflating this and leaving it inflated during the day, like at a base camp or something, make sure you let a little bit of air out because when it's warm out, that air expands and if you have it overinflated, it could damage the pad. And that doesn't just apply to the big Agnes pad, that is any inflatable sleeping pad. One more downside of this pad is the price. It's $300. That's a lot of money to spend on almost any piece of backpacking gear. However, just like a lot of the aspects of this pad, if you do this on a per person basis, that's $150. It's actually better than a lot of good one person pads. So per person, 150 bucks, not too shabby. So what are my overall thoughts on this pad? And is this something I would recommend to you? Absolutely, I would, yeah. If you're a couple looking for a two-person pad, this one's gonna be hard to beat. It's comfy, it's warm, it's supportive, and it's reasonably light per person. Uh, and there really aren't a lot of good two-person backpacking pads on the market. There are some by Climate and Xped, but you're either gonna be sacrificing weight or insulation, or both. We're talking over 50 ounces for a comparable R value. So this one is gonna be hard to beat, and Anna and I love this pad. 
We love it so much that this is going to be coming with us on a very, very big adventure, which we'll be announcing here soon. But that's going to do it for now. This is the Big Agnes Repeat SL Double. I am Justin. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you out on the trail. Cheers. Thank you.